guys it's Bree. welcome back to my channel so today you guys i'm gonna be showing you guys how i get this like slick back part down the middle ponytail i wear my hair like this a lot even when i'm on vacation i just came back from cabo so your girl is nice and tan and honestly i am just loving the ponytails this spring this summer oh my gosh i never thought i liked ponytails but you guys, I've been loving ponytails. Like, I can insert different pictures of me wearing my hair in a ponytail. So, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get my ponies. I just think they are very, very classy and just effortless and just very chic and like, I don't know, just super summery and it's not like you're doing too much. The hair I am gonna be using today, the unit is from Vivi hair 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 baby i think that's how you pronounce it and i've worked with them a thousand times you guys it's one of my top hair companies because the lace when it comes to ponytails the lace is so flat everything looks like it's coming out of your scalp like i feel like this looks like my natural hair and i really really love it but before we get started, you guys, I wanted to come and show you this cool thing that Hair Vivi is doing now. And they are starting to make pieces of lace that you can change out if your lace get old. Because, you know, normally our wig is, like, still looking good. Like, the hair on the wig still look good. They are making these little lace pieces of lace that you can change out your lace i know it's a little confusing so i'm going to insert a clip on the new thing this is like the new 2020 wave one thing about hair vivi honey when i tell you they girl they gonna invent some shit because they do not play i don't know if you guys are familiar but if you know if you wear lace you know that after like the fourth install your lace kind of you have to kind of cut a lot of lace and like recreate your hairline because it kind of look and look as fresh no more so look at the little pieces that you can just literally sew on your wigs and like recreate a new lace <laughs> like this junk is so cool like their lace is so thin like i have never seen a company with this hairline so thin. Like, look at that. That's why I love using their laces when it comes to like my ponytails and stuff. So all you do is like change your laces out and it's like you got a new unit. Girl, y'all let me know what y'all feel about. When you see the video, you... Today, you guys, I'm gonna be doing this slick back part in the middle ponytail. This hairstyle is really cute. I saw it on Instagram and I wanted to give it a try. Um, Cause lately I just really been loving ponytails. So this unit is from Hair by Vivi. I'll leave everything down below for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I get this unit. I did not plug this unit. I did not dye it. I did not bleach it. I didn't do anything. I just got it right out the box and I just cut it like cut the ear caps off. 
So yeah, I'm about to do it. Um, first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my little split. Not gonna cut them too high, about right there. So I just cut two, so I have one, two, three sections. And I'm gonna clip my hair to the back because I don't want, usually I put my hair in a ponytail, but I don't know where, where my ponytail holder is, so I'm just gonna clip it back. this side back. I love Hair by Vivi because it's super easy to work with. I never have a problem with their hair. I love all of my hair. When I want to slay slay, like when I went to Cali for my birthday brunch, um, just when I want to slay slay, I always pull out the hair by, by Vivi because it's going to give you that look. It's going to give you that look look, honey. And you don't even have to do anything. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down, glue this down. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So, we pretty much got the wig glue on. It was so easy. All I did is a little lifting right here. But I'm going to go fix that a little later. So, right now, I'm just taking some, what is it called? Naromi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mousse. And I'm just putting it all over the hair to help mold the hair down. When I do ponytails and slit backs and stuff, I use a lot of mousse. I'm just letting this glue dry right here. Then I'm gonna, um, but look at this, look at this hairline, y'all. So all you have to use mousse for your ponytails. I promise you. I'm probably gonna end up leaving a piece out because I really like when a piece be out when I wear ponytails. So, my parts are always crooked. Oh my gosh, my parts are always crooked, I swear. And the reason I use Nairomi, I hope I'm saying it right, because it's alcohol free and it don't leave your hair, it don't make your hair come up because it's alcohol free. This is my favorite type of mousse. So you're gonna take your ponytail holder, and this is like not the final ponytail, so don't think that. You just kind of want to get an idea on the things that you need to do. See, that looks really pretty. Okay, so now what I do is I want to take my hot comb. And push. You have to be very careful with this lace because this lace is really thin, so you don't want the hot comb on there a lot. And I think as far as baby hair, I'm gonna just put one here, just one, because I don't want it to look weird. Some people don't like the baby edge look or the baby hair look, but me, I do. Even with my natural hair, it's like, that's just me. Um, some people like hairstyle without baby hairs. I don't. I feel like it adds a little flavor, but it's preference. Whatever you like. Like I said, you don't have to do a baby edge or anything like that. Do what you Okay, so now, Take like a little mousse. I don't know. Sometimes the edge, I like to use the edge control brush part, but not the comb part. Because I feel like they are just too, they're too sharp and they don't get my baby edges how I want it. So, I'm gonna take a little got to be, just a little bit, and just kinda like freeze it right there. I like that side. So, 
So like that looked good to me. I like this side. I like the way that looks. So now I'm gonna do this side. So you guys see how I did that side. So I'm gonna go right here, pull out a little baby edge and do it the same way, the same exact way. Okay, so I take some edge booster edge control, right? So I take it and I put it on the hairline. And it just really flattens the hairline even more. This is like the trick. You wanna make sure those edges are really flat. And I don't know, some with the edge control, it kinda just make the baby hair look like it's real baby hair. It do something with the lace. It kinda like flatten the lace down even more. Just try it. But don't go get the greasy edge control. You gotta use like the, um, you have to use this edge control. Every edge control not gonna get you the look. So don't go get the olive oil edge control or that. Um, just get, just get the style boost, okay girl? Like I don't know no company that wig is like this. If you know any company, let me know. Cause I'm gonna reach out to them because I don't know nobody who's like wig is this like flat and I have used a million wigs. All right, so now all I do is take a little mascara. Y'all yeah, know the routine. Let's go like so. Close up that part a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut them a little bit. Okay. 